today we're going to go through how to measure and fit your horse for a run. So we've got Willow here today as our model. To measure him you want either a flexible tape measure or a piece of string and uh, then we will put that string against the metal tape measure to get the sizing that he requires. So we've got our piece of string here and you want to take the measurement from the middle of his chest. So we start our tape measure here and we go round his shoulders in a straight line. Over his belly in a straight line. And then you want to end it in line with his tail. The top of his tail down. So that's our measurement for his rub. We're going to measure it now against our tape measure. So we've got our tape measure here and our piece of string. Still got hold of where the measurement came to. So we just line the end of the string up to the end of the metal tape measure. And go along the tape measure. To find our sizing. So Willow here measures in at just over six foot but he is slightly less than six foot three so with him a six foot rug would be too small so I'm better off buying a six foot three rug for him if you like what you see then please boop the like button so once you've got the size rug that you need and you've purchased your rug you want to take it out of the bag and undo all the straps our buckles. You want to be able to get your hand down the front so it's not too tight and rubbing his shoulders. This is what I mean by his in-between sizes so if I got a six foot rug it would actually be quite tight on him and rub so that's why we go for the slightly larger size. <laughs> Will I know? And then this rug has got a neck. So then we pull this over the top. It sits really quite nicely behind his ears, not too long for him. So again, we just do these straps up. These aren't adjustable, but they have Velcro. So if your horse has a chunky neck like Willow, you can leave it a bit looser. But that fits nicely. And there's loads of space and movement in there for him. And then we've got the sir singles. With these, these cross over. So your front sir single on the other side goes to your back clip. And again, the back sir single goes to the front clip. So it crosses over like this under their belly. You want to be able to get your hand inside so it's not rubbing on their belly, but not too loose. These need tightening just a little bit, because if he rolls, you don't want your legs to be getting stuck under these. So I'm just gonna adjust these quickly. There you go, that's a bit better. I can fit my hand in, but they're not too loose where he can fit a leg in. Here we come to the back of the rug, and it sits quite nicely. You want to see a bit of bum. It means that it fits nicely. This top of his rug sits at the top of his tail. That's a well-fitting rug. If this comes further down, it means your rug is too long and they're likely to stand on these bits when they're rolling. So then we go on to the leg straps. Some rugs have a fillet string that will come from here straight along under the tail 
to here that you do nothing with. You just pull the tail over the fillet string. But this one has leg straps. So what we do, we undo this bit of the leg strap. So they always, new rugs always come clipped up. So we undo the leg straps, these clips. They're still attached to the rug slightly further down. So what we do is we go in the leg to get the fillet string. And we pull this one around this leg and we tie it, we clip it up. You want to have movement. It can't be too tight so it's not rubbing against his leg, but not too loose again so it hangs down by the hocks and gets caught. And then when we go to the other leg strap, again, we go between his legs to collect the fillet string, uh, the leg strap. But what we want to do now is loop it through the other leg strap. So they're crossed in the middle, like so. Can you see that? Let me clip this to this side. Can you see it better there, how we've linked the leg straps together? So this one goes round its leg on its own, and then this one we loop through and clip it up. We do this so that when the horse rolls and the rug slips, this will help right the rug and try and get it back to the correct position. If your horse's rug fits correctly and all straps are done up correctly with the correct hand widths between them, your rug should actually not move too much. But this will help correct a slipping rug. And there you have it, a quick guide on how to fit your horse for a rug this coming winter. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe for more hints and tips. If you've got any questions, then please leave them in the comment box down below. Thank you.